All right. Um, my name is Gavin, also known as Turnpike Bear on the internet. Uh, today, I'm finishing up this league really quick before the new set comes out. Um, it's a Lesnia Hammer. Basically, just mono white. Uh, we're just splashing off of two Temple Gardens and six Fetch Lands. And I wanted to try Gaddock Teague in this deck. So it's kind of the plan. Um, I think this card's well positioned. I could be wrong. But we're trying it out. And then um, Outland Liberator uh, it will be Haywire Might when the new set comes out, which is. Uh, Wire quality zero, which is uh, this little dudo. These will be these, so these two will eventually become these two. Which a uh, nice Urza Saga target that's a that's a disenchant effect. So that's the plan. We're we're like one zero and we're I don't know we're one zero right now. So uh, just wanted to finish this up. Figured I might as well just record it while testing some things. Maybe mono white's just better, or going back to blue. But haywire might was interesting enough to me that while you're there, you might as well check out Gaddock Teague because Gaddock Teague's always kind of been a card that I feel like should be played more in Hammer. Some people could disagree. That's I mean, I I'm not saying I'm correct. I'm just saying the card's got very specific ties, lines of text that are good against blue eye control and creativity, which are both decks you struggle against. So. If we can gain some uh, free points, a little bit of equity in those matchups, I think it's worth trying out. So that's the plan. Alrighty. Um, this starts really awkward. I mean, if we hit a hammer, it's like really good. If we don't hit a hammer, I guess we have the Neville Cyst. I guess I'll keep. I'm not, like, a huge fan of it. I guess we get to attack for one on turn one. But, yeah, this is definitely a strange hand. Um, we'll just get basics. There's no green cards in the main. So, just get basic, basic. Not a whole lot to think about there. I mean, this Nettlesis is going to be a 4-4. Four -four. Scalding Tarn. Scalding Tarn pass. Okay. Well, that's a lot better one drop. Okay. Start with uh, Springleaf Drum, then the Ornithopter, then the Esper Sentinel. Cast. Alrighty. Never want to do it the other order, because if you play your Ornithopter, then cast your Springleaf Drum, then you just bolt your Ornithopter, you get really sad. So just remember that at home, kids. Play with Springleaf Drum. Play the drum first. Really excited! I ordered my old border spring leaf drums. I like, I like, I can like this art on the an ornithopter, which might be an unpopular opinion, but I do like this art. So I was kind of happy that they had this art with the old border. I was pretty stoked about that. So I bought those. The antiquities ones are sick too. Like I get it, but I just, I don't know, just art's just so nostalgic for me. I think mine are like M10s. So it's kind of like when I like started playing seriously, ish around there. M10, M11, Rise of the Eldrazi, Shards of Alara, somewhere there. It's when I first started seriously playing in high school. Flooded Strand. This looks a lot like, uh... Well, that's a hell of a draw. Let's just attack with the Sentinel. And then let's see if we can land the Cigar to Zed. Okay... I'll play the land out to play around spell pierce. And uh the way to win matches with hammer is draw well. So <laughs> so far we're not doing too terrible. I get to draw a card. I'll take another land. Um, do I want to play the Ginger Brute? I don't think I do yet. I already have Metalcraft. These lists have been playing all different types of things, so don't want to get got by a Fury or something like that. You know, if, if we ran out the Ginger Brute and then they played a Fury, it would feel really, really, really bad. Tapping for blue. I'd like to see that.
What I got? Are they going to try to consider here? This Sentinel might be just messing them up. Sentinel is a beating for them. Opponent taking a little time. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Considering into the Esper Sentinel always feels like dog shit. I get it, friendo. It does not feel good. Now we really want to draw a hammer. That's like the maximum punish, right? We could go hammer into pure steel equip to... Looking for. Excuse me. Okay, hammer is like actual best draw. I'll fetch. Just a thin. I know it's not like. I think some magic players take that a little bit too seriously, but. Ooh. Okay. Let's do that. It's actually kind of a nice one to land. Could get back the get back back to aid. A little fun of in the deck. I don't know how good it is, but it's definitely adorable. And uh, I'll take adorable. So I'll play the planes because I'm gonna pitch this Arid Mesa, and then I'll just take my point. Let's get in there, dog. So I'll probably just pitch the Mesa, get back the aid or the Sentinel, one of the two. It's pretty hot. Or this is a way that we can get a pure steel paladin into play through counter magic. Also real cute. Look like an iteration. Sprite. Oh. I'm prowess with the basic island. I was not expecting that. Because my opponent just uh, playing some fun stuff. Also nothing wrong with playing fun stuff. I'm a big fan of that. Personally. Not only the sprite dragon can't block here. Ditching the lightning bolt. What's up with that? Are they getting aggressive? They are. Okay. See what we draw. Maybe I'll just slam the middle assist on something. Well, that was pretty good. Let's pitch that. Um. <sighs> yeah, let's get the Esper Sentinel. Okay, what we can do here is we go like this. Okay, we kind of can do it all. Let's play our pure steel. Let's play this. Let's draw a card. Yep. This seems pretty good. It's feeling good. Yeah, I'll draw a card. I'll take one. I'll attack you for eight. Okay. And then uh, move this... I don't know if it really matters. I'm moving back here, so it's harder for them to kill. I think my opponent's pretty pretty screwed here. Oh, the restoration felt, I mean, pretty incredible right there. <laughs> I don't know if it's any good, but it felt, it felt pretty pretty decent. Pretty, pretty decent. So I know I kind of went through that quick, but yeah, I just started thinking, like, well, they're tapped out. I can play the pre-steel, get my card, free equip, move it all around, smack them, and then move it back. And now, like, the nice thing is, like, this just, like, sits there. And, like, a 9-9 for a prowess deck is hard to deal with. They could have something like Vapor Snag. They could even be playing Murktide. I'm not really sure. But uh, this Shadow Spear might just slam the door. Jesus. We are running very hot. Sometimes you just run hot. Sometimes it just be like that. Uh, obviously, I suggest running hot if you want to do well with the deck. Uh, and then we'll just try to put the Shadow Spear here. Obviously, like I said, we're, we're running very hot. Yeah. What was I even going to draw? Yeah. So, I pulled it pretty dead there. Um, Against Prowess, this one seems pretty good. The counter spells are what's throwing me off. That is the weird one. The restoration looks really good. Gingerbread's kind of awkward against the haste creature. Cut that. Do I ever think I land this again in a million years? 
Probably not. We don't really want to grind either, but just let the two drops take us to victory. Throw out one of these, so just like trim a drum, trim a zero drop. Looks good to me. Still kind of working out the uh, sideboard plans for some of these decks. I'm not like obviously the best player in the world, so I don't have like super uh, well thought out sideboard plans for everything. But yeah, you play a lot with the deck. You just gotta think what's good and what's not. Um, I know I end up trimming these a lot. You know, Ornithopter's like good in some some matchups, and you know, whatever. I don't even know what I'm trying to say, but like. You know, like Tron and stuff like that. I'm going to leave this in because I just want to go as fast as possible. And, you know, it's more grindy card, and they're a fast deck. So, obviously, it'll look great there. But they tapped out on turn three. I was able to land it. Sometimes against Counter Spell Dogs, you're just holding your stupid three drop with no ability to play it. <sighs> All the pain lands is tough. <sighs> this is really tough. God, all these pain lands. This hand's like really good though. Yeah, mana's not free. They just like. Uh, do I just? This, this is what I'm saying. Just, just run hot. That's <laughs> that, that's that's. Oh, they have a spell pierce. Wow. Okay. That hurt. I guess we should try to go a little bit bigger with prowess with the sprite dragons because sprite dragon is like specifically, uh, specifically, better with stuff like counter spells, right? Because it's a permanent buff. Yeah, stuff like um, soul scar mage and uh, monastery swift sphere are less good with counter spells because it's not a permanent effect. <sighs> Looking like we're in trouble here. They got double bobble. It's smash for eight. We're going to tap down the. Tapped on the 14 to play this. Um, like, honestly, like, basic land. I'll go get a hammer. I think I should just use my mana efficiently. So we're going to have to try to combo kill him next turn. If subtlety. Okay. Okay. What do they pitch? Do I bottom this? I think I do. I think we're just like super dead. I think I'm dying here. The three three rows and canopies is kinda tough against the aggro deck. I think I got two cards left. Uh, that's a pretty good one. Okay. I think uh I think we next turn we just play pure steel with blacksmith skill up. That's kind of our plan. That was not terrible either. Three horizon canopies. Painful. Let's just leave up the skill. Next turn we can go scar to Zayden the hammer. Try to kill him. We were really close to dead. I might have to block. As crazy as that sounds. <laughs> Hopefully I don't have a cantrip here. A cantrip would be kind of devastating. Oh, I can't block. Am I just dead? I'm just dead to a bolt. Dead to a lot of things. And then next turn I'll have to run like f hotter than the sun. Which to be fair we can do. Three red mana. What a God's green earth is this. Fire spout. Does it deal damage? Each creature with fine. Each creature with fine. That seems pretty good. Um, I'm gonna go. I actually just lose, right? Because I take. 
Seven, I go to one, and I can't even cast any spells. Yeah. Fire spot's a weird one. Alrighty. Um, I think I do want the relic. This is just never happening, right? I think I like, can't kill this card, though. This is... Let's just do cauldron. Okay. Let's try this again. I don't think I'll hate the relic. Also ordered my old border relic. Very excited for that one, too. Fire spot was not expecting. Pwned on a bit of a brew. Nothing wrong with that. Sprite Dragon's powerful card. Yeah. I know Andrea and Mangucci did really well with a prowess list lately. So prowess always a little slept on, in my opinion. The subtleties and the counter spells are a little strange. But... Mm, yeah, this is a classic. We never draw a second land and we lose. <sighs> alright, alright, alright. We got it. Huh? Done. Okay. We get the lead on Sigarda's Aid without getting spell pierced. And then pray to draw land. And it's kind of nice with the fetch lands. Like, I think a lot of people will assume that we're on Azorius. So if you kind of leave your fetch lane uncracked, they might not really know what to play around. Alrighty, well. Praying for a land. Does the Izzet deck play? Dress down, probably. Alright, you gonna slam, slam something? No. They are a counterspell deck. Land, land, land. Ugh. Okay. We're trying. We're trying, fam. Gotta need a land so freaking bad. If I don't hit a land, I think I'm gonna go get the relic to try to just can't trip into it. That's all I'm really missing at this point. Opponent is playing the control deck. I will just sit here and do nothing, I suppose. <sighs> Alright, well, now I have to. God, what do I do? This is really tough. Let's get a relic. Let's try to cast this. It's probably going to get spell pierced or counter spelled or whatever. Counter spell's so wild in their deck. Okay. Well, I'll, Bob, I'll do the thing. Really need to draw land. If we don't draw land next turn, I'll just pop the relic. All that good jazz. It's going to be really hard to win through a wall of counter magic. This is the a benefit that my opponent gets to kind of playing a little bit of a brew is they get to kind of, you know, dictate the terms of engagement a little bit better than I do. Nothing wrong with that. See, like, Sprite Ray Dragon to hold a counter spell would be pretty sick. Especially if there's some baubles. No baubles. But if they're just holding up a counter spell, it's not bad either. Land? Okay. Uh, I don't really think it's worth the jam yet, but uh, I'll probably pop this relic at the turn. I guess I'll just whatever them. Okay. Yeah, I'll just eat your card. <coughs> really want to have another land up so I have protection spells so I can't just counterspell it. Ditch the land. Oh. Any spread dragons, man. Okay, yep. I'm just gonna pop this relic. I can't sit on this forever. I gotta get some action here. We did mull the five or whatever it was. But that's okay. Are they gonna try to okay, I was like Drew Lance. Perfect. Ooh. Okay, now I'm going to play that. Because that card's super annoying for them. 
Do they just counter it? They don't. Okay. Don't crack your fetch lands, Gavin. Don't make a mistake. All right, we can try to win this. I think we'll go lead on hammer, then skill. Okay. Oh, let me respond. I would like to respond. I'm going to correct both fetch lands right away. So I don't get got. Okay, let's go get our basics. Okay. Um, actually, let's go skill first. Dirty floor to the blue. Because I'd rather they counterspell the blacksmith skill than the hammer. And I'm doing this response because then they have to pay three to deny me the draw. And then I'm kind of hoping they counterspell the skill. I get the flash and the hammer if they have another spell. Well, they got me. Three mana. Three blue. Counterspell. Okay. That one resolves. Uh, flash and the hammer. Do you have another counterspell? If you have another counter spell, I get to draw a card, which is nice. So you got opponent. Uh, do you have a bolt? Two blue? Do you have a brazen power? You have a trick bind. Okay. I get to draw a card. Let's draw a hammer. That was not bad. Oh, let's quit the clock. Trick bind, huh? Man, my opponent's on some stuff. Okay, well, we're just dead next turn. So I don't even know what we could do. That was quite the quite the stack. Yeah, we're just dead. Wow, that was a bummer. Good job, opponent. I don't know what's up with this one. I won and lost 2-0. I won and then drew Drew. <laughs> I don't know. I think, like, the client, like, crapped out in the middle of this game. <laughs> Dang, that was close. I think we just had to not mulligan to a million. Maybe I should have kept that first opening seven. Or maybe I should have been running out those pure steals. But that's the thing with the spell. With the, this spell. Ah. With the uh, sprite dragons, right? Like, while they're interacting, they're, they're increasing their clock. So. It's tough. Missing the land, too. Maybe I should have kept three lands. One, step, one paladin and just tried to Ursa Saga them. Looks like their plan was to trick bind though. Urza Saga. So because right when you untap on your upkeep, you make your you make your second dude. And they trick bind in response so that you don't get the dude or the fetch. I mean, I think I'd just rather play dress down. Oh, well, Sam looks good. No quippers, but we probably could pretty easily call draw. Got an Esper Sentinel, got a bunch of hammers. A lot of stuff you want to see. This might be a little bit of a loose keep in the equippers because equippers are the least common card in the deck compared to hammers, right? Because look at we're looking at one, two, three, four, five hammers. But uh, uh oh, don't be yog. Shit. <laughs> well, this card got a lot worse. Then we'll have to try Caldra them. So we'll go turn two, try to get Caldra, or maybe we'll just get. 
start just pumping out tokens. Maybe let's go hammer, hammer. Try to make some big tokens. Put a, put a, whatchamacallit on them. You're not going to attack. All right. Huh? Let me, maybe I just get the nettle cyst. I'll just get a nettle cyst. Uh, Calls are so good against them. Just hopefully I don't have a grist. I'll get the cauldra. All right. Uh, do I attack into dried arbor? I will. <coughs> Every point's one less draw for them. Pretty important. For zero, huh? They want to yog that bad. Okay. You got it. Is that their plan to kill the, uh... They're going to throw away two cards to kill the Stoneforge? With this in play. I mean, I guess. This is a good matchup for them. I'm going to have to play the Ornithopter, play the Plains. Nope. That, why do they do it for zero? I don't understand. Okay, well. Then I'm just going to culture you. Um, yeah, let's put the culture in. This is like a good clock against them. It's hard for them to kill. It takes five life for them to kill. That's like the only thing they can kill in their deck. So. Another cord. Let me draw. Okay, what are you getting? Just an undying creature? They're just going to try to combo me. Now tap, they have one, two, three, four, five, six mana. They can combo me next turn. Need some help, but they could do it. They need a Yogg right here. It's like it has to be Yogg Moth. If it's Grist, it's not good enough. This is Yogg Moth. Okay. They have to have another Undying Creature and a... Whatchamacallit. So, let's see what they got. Another dying creature makes Yogg's Moth bargain. Okay. They need a dying creature plus a. They need a dying creature plus specifically either uh, a life gainer like a Essence Warden or. Um, uh, what should I call it? The uh, Blood Artist. <sighs> what you got, opponent? Okay. They have to have another Undying Creature and Blood Artist. There's any Young Wolf Blood Artist here. Put a counter on the germ. That's where I would put it. Yeah. Still a tough one for them. Okay, now they have to draw draw they have to draw artist. They got six draws. Five draws to the to artist. They can cord for it, but they already used two cords. Just kinda of playing the waiting game. Would have been nice to have the skill. Oh, they hit the cord. Or they just hit the blood artist naturally. They need the blood artist. I'm not dead yet. There it is. I think maybe they hit an evolution. They have two more draws? Or three more draws? Three. They have three more draws. Okay. Two more draws. They have a lot of looks. They have like, what, three outs in their deck? It's close. Okay. got opponent this is it uh, you're dead even if you had the blood artist you have to pay a life to put it on the stack that's your plan okay that does work oh, did you hit a cord no okay I just playing everything out 
Okay. How do I kill my opponent? Hmm. <laughs> okay. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I get Springleaf Drum, and I get um, Nettle Cyst off my other Stump Forge. So what I'll do is I'll float, get a Springleaf Drum, play my second Stump Forge, put in the Nettle Cyst, equip the Nettle Cyst, play out Ornithopter, play Inkmark Nethys Drum, and I should be able to pump this for enough. We have to put a ton of toughness in front of it. That's our plan. Hopefully it's good enough. Because we're super dead next turn. All right. Oh well, that probably that probably does it. Does it? No, it probably doesn't, huh? <sighs> this is so tough. Okay, I have a plan now. I have a better plan now. Let's play this. Let's play this. Let's play this. All right, equip. All right, well, now the game's over. <laughs> yeah, they, don't, they have, what, four... They don't have enough toughness once that equips. <coughs> so, that was close. Always a tough matchup. <laughs> do I want Gaddick Teague? I think, actually, I do. And then uh, Pithy Needle. Uh, and then probably the Hollow Moon Lights. Everything else seems kind of sketch. This kind of sucks. Nettle Cyst is actually kind of slow against them. Gingerbread sucks against them. Um, what else? <sighs> probably want to trim Sentinel. It's probably not that good against them. I'll trim one more for the last skill as well. And I think that looks good. Relic of Progenitus is not good against them. Just FYI. Don't don't bring these type of cards in against them. It does not do anything. This is better. It draws a card. It like actually gets the undying creature. It gets them on cord. It gets them on evolution. This this does a lot more. Pithy Needle and Graft Digger's Cage are the two best cards in the format against them. And then Gaddick Teague turns off Court of Calling, and it also turns off uh, Force of Vigor. So I can't keep this hand against a Force of Vigor deck, because you just play this and you die immediately. This is much better. Uh, I'll put back the Canopy Land. Go give her into Stoneforge, go get Cauldra. Hopefully that carries us to victory. I think this matchup is a lot closer than most Yawgmoth players will say. I think... Hammer players don't understand that you can't just... That's a hell of a draw. <laughs> okay. You can't just jam. Jam stuff on hammers. They, they have good interaction against you. I set the quick call to them. That's my plan. Is this a grist? Are these going to grist kill this? No. Okay with that. That one's fine. Uh, get my Stoneforge Mystic down. Go get my Cauldra, which this does nothing against. Okay. Yep. Get a Cauldra complete. Here we go. Now if they just have like a derpy hand that doesn't do anything. You got birds. One, two, three, four, five, six. Big court for three. Okay. What's your plan, a, a opponent? This grist is really awkward against this giver. Okay, yeah. Make an insect. I agree with that. He yeah, is notable. Okay, well, I'm just going to cauldron them. I'm going to attack the grist. It's super annoying. Or do I just attack them? <sighs> Let's attack them. I think it's a better play. Uh, no. Let's attack the Grist. One, two, 
one, two, three, four, five. They can court for two. Grist dead. Uh, I'll just play tap land. You can go. Then uh, next turn we can play Stoneforge Mystic, get a hammer, and then we can untap Cigar to Zade. See, like, not afraid of this card because it doesn't do anything against us right now. Yawgmoth is obviously, like, a disaster. But, uh, can't beat everything. They might just have, like, a bunch of disenchants disenchan in their deck just rotting. Yeah, you can target the Cauldra. It just doesn't do anything. Yep. You got it. That's why I love me some Haywire Might in the next set. <laughs> Good old, good old race going on here. Ooh. All right, let's attack. Play this. Okay. Yes. Colossus Hammer, flip the stupid Frenzy Trapper back over. All right, just hold up the hammer. Oh, they got a cord. Uh-oh. I think we're probably dead to that. Yeah, this is going to be tough. We're going to have to brick on a lot. They don't have any dying creatures yet. But they have a lot of draws to them. All right. Yep. If they hit on dying creature here. It's kind of a disaster. That gives them a ton of draws. Now, two undying creatures just kills me, which is big lame. Yeah, I'll put the pro black there. Okay. What is this? Okay, that's one undying creature. Hmm. That doesn't kill me on its own. It's be close to dead. I can... One, it's really close to dead. It's not quite dead. Yeah, okay. I have a blocker. I actually might just be dead to attacks. It's close. Did that to sack the Liberator or the Hierarch? Uh, another undying creature, I'm just dead. Floating, putting that, okay. Yeah. They need four more loops. No, they need three more loops. I don't think they quite have enough to kill me. If they hit a young wolf or whatever, I'm just dead. But just kind of fade it. <laughs> it's not a whole lot. The thing about all right. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Okay. That kills me. <laughs> Dang it. Dang it, Bobby. All right. Let's try again. That was close. I guess if we wouldn't went face, I want to matter to the Essence Warden. Wins the match. I don't know what happened. Okay. 
I guess the point had to go. That's kind of anticlimactic. <laughs> this is the weirdest league ever. I went 0-2 and lost, apparently, to unknown opponent because it just, like, glitched out. <laughs> Literally just draw, win, draw, draw. <laughs> and then this one, I got the I got the, the infamous 1-1 one, one win. <laughs> So, a little bit of an asterisk next to this one, I guess. But overall, I mean, Hammer is still a good deck. It's still doing its thing. So, still feeling good about it. Just got to keep chugging along. So, yeah. This is probably pretty close to what they'll play at, uh... Uh... Where is it? It's probably pretty close to play. I think I think I want this to be a uh, spell skite instead. I don't know, it's tough. This card is really cool. And then the Haywire Mites. And otherwise I think I like most of the other numbers here. But I really think this card helps so much against blue eye control, which is just such a such a you're such a dog against. But trying to find something. You know, especially now that they're on Jesus. All these colorless lands sometimes just get me. Well, that hand's unkeepable. All right, well, that hand's uh, not too bad. Let's put back that and shrum. I just want the guarantee. I want to be able to make a, whatchamacallit, guarantee. A non saga land would be a nice first draw. Uh, don't be blue eye control. Not like this. Oof. Dodged. Play a monkey or something. Awesome. Don't care. I love playing Hammer and just, just cannot give a crap about a monkey. I mean, it's not like bad against you. It's just not like completely busted in half. Yeah, you got a monkey. These these are really good against this deck game one. Unless they're playing, you know, main deck Blood Moon. If they Blood Moon me here... It's gonna be a little bit more difficult. I actually, actually, that's. I might just die to a blood moon here. <laughs> Which, uh, oof, would have liked that one last turn. Oh, that one is sick. A little flash in the hammer. That one hot. Don't, don't blood moon me, dog. Not like this. He's gonna cast that one. I would cast it. It's a freebie. Okay, probably not getting blood mooned. Shock, but they got a ledger shredder. That's cheating. That's unfair, bro. What the hell is this? Dude, you have my ornithopter for free, dog. This card's so good. Pitch the counter smell. That's that's a sign of strength. Yeah, what do I got? Something busted. They didn't cast the ornithopter. That has to be a mistake, right? Just like freebie chump locker. Uh, what's up with the upkeep stopping, brother? Second cigar to Zade. I think I'm just just gonna play out the spring leaf. Second cigar to Zade does have value. It does do things. It makes it really hard for your opponent to just have one piece of removal because you just target two things. It's like it actually puts them in a real bind. Like this. A lot of hammered players think that that top deck's a lot worse than it is. But uh, I just don't want them to connive. All right, do your worst. Don't Blood Moon me. Okay. That's fine. Don't go land Blood Moon. Spire buff. Probably not getting Blood Moons. You never know, though. People do some weird stuff. Okay. That one's really good for them to hit. That one's insane. They didn't cast it. We got a charm. Okay. Hmm. 
the ink moth. Yeah, I'll try to block here. And then, eh, do I? Do I care? Or do I just kill him with the ginger brute? I don't have a skill. I really want a skill. Hopefully they tap out for something stupid. Well, when you hit a bunch of these, your deck looks really good. I mean, this is a good deck. I shouldn't, I shouldn't dog too much. She got flooded strands. Try to kill him with the ink moth. They can't charm this one. Are they scared? Um, do I block just to try to deny some mana? I think I do. Because, like, I guess if they steal this, it sucks. But then I just tap it if they steal it. I just want them to use some removal. Okay, well, I guess that is, like, the first removal spell they've used. Now do I hammer is the question. <sighs> yeah, I think I do. Because this, like, just kills them on their own, on its own. And then if they counter this, uh, this might be a punt. I don't know. She got. Shocking in, huh? Another bolt. Okay. Do they just have a unholy heat as well? They must, right? Okay. Maybe I just have to make another Dorco and equip a hammer to it. I don't know. See what I draw. If I draw a skill, I could kill him with a Gake Moth. Damn, that's a hit. Cast it, please. Tap out, tap out, tap out, tap out, tap out. Tap out, opponent. You know you want to. My opponent just hates casting my spells. It's really, really rude. All right, what do we got? <sighs> the upkeep stops opponent. Uh, the hammer might be in correct play, but... Yeah, then I guess let's just make a dude. Okay. We gotta do something in response to this. Uh, yeah, I'll put a hammer on it. Okay. Do you have a charm? I mean, a charm I just, like, can never, ever beat. It's just a heat. Okay, heat's okay. Still hurts. Still hurts my feelings. Um, I'm not technically dead. So, on we go. <laughs> that might have been a mistake. I don't know. It's tough. Just having, like, triple removal spell in hand. I guess after you're supposed to be at a rate twice. They can bolt my face. They have a lot of, a lot of ways to kill me here. This land's turned off. So, and all fetch lands are. What you got, opponent? Hmm. That one's probably good enough. Made a baby tide, huh? So they have another one? So they're not dead to the ink moth? I think I'm out of outs. Damn, did just have any bolt bolt heat? It's pretty unbeatable. Only one counter spell. They pitched it too. They didn't counter a single thing. Yeah, we're just dead. We're just we can't win. Game's over. It's okay. Another skill. Need the needle. We need uh oh sanctifiers. Okay. Restoration's never resolving. 
Um, my opponent just disconnected. So my opponent's disconnecting tonight. Um, am I hacking? Am I cheating on accident? Oh my god. Um, I don't mind trimming Ornithopter in this matchup. If I trim Ornithopter, I like to trim some drums. Uh, probably two. Is that is that just what we want to do? I, these cards are always tough against the Archmage's Charm deck, but uh, let's give it a whirl. And then uh, I don't think I want the relic, or do I? Do I want the relic? And just I need this for EE. Hmm. Do I just trim one of these? Calls are completely really good against them, but like if they steal it, it's so bad. Let's trim the nettle cyst. Let's do that. Am I just gonna like win a bunch of matches because uh <laughs> an accident? <laughs> oh, secret layer secret layer Jace the Mind Sculper. Oh man. Yeah, I'm on like some random playlist. Just listen to some dad rock here. Nothing wrong with that. But uh usually not my jam, but I'm okay with it. It would kinda suck to win all these matches on technicalities. Uh this YouTube video is not gonna be very good. <laughs> Hopefully the gameplay was okay. Okay, they joined the game. Perfect. I would like to play first. Ah, uh, yeah, this looks good. The canopies look awkward again, but I think we'll just lead us to Garter's Day so I can get it down. And then I'll I'll go uh, to Garter's... Ah. Let's lead us to Garter's Day because I just want it to resolve. Then we go Saga Giver. Or maybe we play the Ink Moth. So we can try to kill him with the ink moth. <coughs> I go give her runes, and then uh, I can protect from a heat with a shadow spear. Yeah, you can have a monkey. I guess I don't trim this anymore in the matchup. I'm always so used to post board against Murktide where they trim trim it, but we're not really playing uh, Mem Knights anymore. Hey, I'll play give her runes. You can go. I think I'll... Uh, do I block? Uh, the man of denial is so nice. They might not give me a choice. Okay. If they heat this, I'm 100% Shadow Spear in it. If they bolt it, there's not much I can do. The shock is weird. They cut it on top. Okay. Please heat it. That's uh, a bolt. Well, my opponent had uh, I would consider a above average opener. <laughs> That's okay though. That does happen. That do be like that sometimes. I'm surprised I didn't look at my top card for decide the bolt. I would have looked at my card. Like, do I want it? Yes, no. What the hit? That was pretty good. I they should cast this. They didn't cast it last time. Hopefully, they've learned from their mistakes. Why? Well, Opponent, I, I, I can't believe this is not not the correct play, but God, these canopies. <laughs> All right, well, we have a plan. It's not a great plan, but it's a plan. They kill my what should we call it? End of turn. Man, our opponent is just shocking, reckless abandon. Uh yeah, yes. Yeah, I'll take three. This card is super tilting. Would they hit land this time? Ugh. That was pretty good. What is in my opponent's hand? That they just don't want to cast these. Okay. Do you have a dress down now? Okay, well, let's see if this works. Set a bolt. 
I can't really beat that one, right? I guess I can. All right, well, let's try. Okay. Yes. <sighs> Don't blow me out, opponent. This is kind of cute, but it does work. Okay. Give another bolt. Have a heat. Should have heated the Ink Moth Nexus. My opponent has triple removal spell again. That's kind of what their deck does, though. Okay. Let's get a Pithy Needle. Needle Engine Unit Explosive. And... Engineered explosives. Okay. All right. Please just don't have a counter spell for the love of God. Do you have a counter spell too? No. Thank God. Okay. Sounds good. Engineered explosives kind of like their main way to get rid of this card. So, so this also makes it a lot harder for them to merc tide me. I'll block. Excuse me? If you have a dress down, go ahead. You got it. What is this attack? This is just, this is a dress down, right? I killed this stupid monkey, I guess. Okay. Just, no. Oh, what? Opponent. What's going on? I'll attack for three. What is this? Let's go. Am I the only one that's confused? Winning this race by a mile. Maybe they just like tilted. I don't know. Okay. This attacking. I, mean, I guess I can't block, right? Okay. Maybe they just have a bunch of Merc Tides in hand. Oh, it's pretty good. Attack. Okay. Well, I'll cast another one. Do you have a do you have a counter spell? Do I even give them the opportunity? I don't think I do. I think we're just streets ahead. I don't even want to give them two scratch two two delirium, whatever, whatever it's called. To uh, surveils. That's it. I knew. I knew I'd get the name eventually. You can't block. You have to attack. Yeah, I'm winning this race. Fortunately for me. I'll draw a card. I'll draw another card. Okay. That one's pretty good. Attack. At least this card's buying us a ton of time. I'm just not going to play in any kind of... I don't want to give him surveils. Just do not want to give him surveils. This card on its own can kill them. If they want to blood move me, go ahead. Okay, now they get a million surveils. <laughs> this might let the Merc die. But the Merc is going to be pretty small. Luckily. Yeah, they're just putting stuff that they can Merc Tide in the bin. Just all lands. Now they can Merc Tide, but it's just a 4-4. Four -four. <laughs> Why are they... What's this? What's this mean? What do we think this means? Okay. I'll play land just to see what's up. I don't know why they're not attacking, but I'll attack. Okay. You got an opponent.
You got a ledger shredder. I mean, I'm going to put a hammer on this thing next turn. Do you have a dress down? You have a merc tide. That's fine. Okay. Dress down doesn't do it anymore. Spell pierce, sure. This card's so good against them. Why do you... You, you can't block. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> this card gains so much life. Okay. Uh, I don't even think dress down does it. They can't fetch, so... Okay. Yep. Sure. I'm going to put a hammer on the Sanctifier back. Colossus Hammer. Target. Yep. Okay. I'd like to attack. Yep, okay. <laughs> I think I like our plan. I'm just going to use the restroom really quick. All right, opponent, I beg you. All right, this hand's pretty good. Hopefully we can land this aid. See what they do on turn two. And uh, at least have monkey all three games. No. Let's jam the aid. I don't really care. We got our Saga as a backup. Ooh. Let's see, MDA. If they had a spell person, got it. They got the pierce. Okay. They had it. They indeed did have it. I think they'll go turn two. Well, it depends what they do. They tap it out for a threat. They keep a one lander. Oh, opponent. Did you have your head in the cookie jar? Bottom. Oh, opponent. Oh, opponent. Opponent, opponent, opponent. Yeah, let's just uh, run this one out. Here we go. Then next turn, I'll just play this plus uh, Giver. Start beating down. Okay, they hit a land. Good. Oh, this would be really lame. Ledger Shredder. You can't have Bobble, right? You did Bobble last turn. Okay, yeah, I was like... That was pretty good. Uh, I'm not going to attack into this. Doesn't really pay. We get the Needle Engineer Explosives again. <sighs> I'll skill it. This card's just hard for him to beat. Okay. They don't attack. Dealerino. That was double giver's pretty good. <laughs> Year go. And then we'll start sneaking through some stuff. Double giver's gotta be like impossible. I just have to get the needle down for this. Sure. Don't dress me on me, dog. God, 
God, do I just go get Shadow Spear try to beat down? What the hell did they exile? Spell Pierce? My opponent is super unlucky. No, this is this is needly. Oh, we draw. Create, yeah. Create doofus. Okay. Needle. Put a hex needle. Needle. Oh, engine. I can spell. I promise. I'm like a couple beers deep, so just be uh, be be patient with me. Let's turn these into. F Whoa! Don't do that. Let's turn these into four fours and let's get busy. Okay. Begin combat. I'll tackle them both. If they want to chump. That's fine. I just just whatever. You got it, opponent. Don't dress down me, please. <sighs> Alrighty. E's like, I mean, dress down's annoying. E would be like the card to get them out of this. Them keeping the one lander with the spell pierces. The greediest shit I've ever seen in my life, though. The spica. The spica. <laughs> what should we call it? Is some greedy ass nonsense. Okay. Sure. Well, they're really close to dead. Let me see. If I play hammer, these go up to 10. Probably goes to 12. That's a really good draw. I'm trying to think. They're like super close to dead. Um, let's play this. Um, yeah, let's just play it out. Let's just uh, put all the pressure on. So, if I attack with everything, they have to block these two, right? Because, yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, I guess we 3 2 I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what happens. Uh, but, yeah, I don't know. Uh, deck still feels good you know I don't know if the changes I made are necessarily good or not but uh, pretty excited we're sealed product yeah just open this can I open open one of these open my little chesty I must have three two. oh my god snarl what's this whatever what, what garbage <laughs> but uh um, didn't really get to see Gattic Teague work, but Hammer's still good. The Restoration was busted that one game. I don't know how good it's going to be, but it should probably be a Spell Skite. Let's go. Spell Skite. I kind of like Spell Skite because, uh, Prismari commands give me some problems, and it's just like, uh, uh, Spell Skite just does some shit. It's kind of like Giver number four, that's a slightly different... Spell Skite. Yeah, I'll take one of those. Cut that. So, uh, yeah. But, yeah. Um, so, that is uh, my little 3 2, I guess. I don't know. Can I even see? Three three wins, one loss. <laughs> whatever whatever that means. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Um, <laughs> that's, that's weird. Um, uh, yeah. So. Until next time, I think when the new set comes out, I have Grease Fang on the brain. Where is it? I came up with this deck at work. It's not anything too crazy. I played against someone that was playing something super similar. Where is... I can't... My brain doesn't function this way. I have to do it this way. Uh, did I not add it? Or did I put in the wrong thing? What the heck? So let me see. I'm in modern, right? Burn, hard times. Should be Grease Fang. Hmm. Add deck. Import. Grease Fang. Open. 
Preform Vanguard? No. Is that why it went in? Okay. It's because it's, the cards aren't legal yet. Okay. Freeform Vanguard. Um, this will be the deck I want to try next. A little, little, little lost in the sauce. But we're playing some new cards. Um, yeah, we got Haywire Might and uh, Phyrexian Dragon Engine. And Diabolic Intent. Diabolic Intent. You know. Cool card. Try to do it in the Grease Fang Shell in Modern. Which I think this deck's like teensy tiny bit slept on. Not like busted. You know, Modern's always a format that if you have a deck you like a lot, you play it a lot, I think you can be really successful. So I think this list, this type of deck is what this card will be the most powerful in. Where you only have four of this card, right? But you want eight of this effect. So how do you do that? You do that with... with Efficient tutor spells, right? There's already grim tutor in modern, but that's not that's not the good curve, right? You want to go one drop into diabolical intent to three target drop, right? You want to go full Darren Epicure to Sator Warfighter to or whatever. Like you just want these trees of one into two into three. Do your thing. So this giving you copies five through eight of this card is what will push it hopefully over the top, and that's kind of like the plan. Um, Lists I've played like this in the past have just this has just been unearth for for kind of some redundancy in that way where you're milling it over with other cards and stuff like that to to get your grease fangs into play. But I like this just kind of being like a through graveyard hate. You could just go grab a collected company. You could go grab a season pyre master. You could just grab a value card, which you know you're you're kind of card neutral, but it will help pull you ahead because you do have a lot of duds in the deck. When you're fighting through hate, right? Like Sator Wayfinder, Goblin Engineer, kind of do nothing. You know, and also with the new cards, Fresh and Dragon Engine is like a really nice one of in the deck to grab with Engineer. That's just like a value card, right? You don't want a whole lot of these effects, but just having like one good one that just by itself does stuff, yeah, I think is good. And then you get a couple artifacts. You're, you're kind of stretching playing this card, but it's just such a good one to combo Grease Fang, right? Because it just entombs, entombs your combo piece. So, uh, yeah, that's. That's probably what I'll try next. And we've got Haywire Might and a few other fun ofs. So, yeah, until next time. See you guys later.